solve x is equal to y minus 4 and uh, the second equation is 4x minus 2y plus 8 is equal to 0. Okay, so we want to solve this by a method called substitution. Okay, plus 8 is equal to 0. So let's first name it. So I'll label it. So this is equation 1 and this is equation 2. So now I can say equation 1 is in terms of x and equation y is in x, y, a number form. So they are two different forms. Now to solve in by elimination method, you have to write this in the standard form. Okay, the standard form of a linear simultaneous equation is a number, so this is a number, times x, it can be plus or minus in number, times y is equal to number. Okay, so you can put, stick in any number here, this can be plus or minus, this can be, this is a number, this is also a number. So here, first, let's write this equation in that form. So let me rewrite the equation one again. X is equal to Y take away four. I want to, I don't want, I don't want Y on the right hand side. I want only a number here. So I don't want, I want to cancel Y. So the opposite of plus Y is minus Y. So if you take away Y from one side, you have to take away Y from the other side. So this equation changes to x minus y is equal to negative 4. This is again equation 1. Okay. Now, this equation, let me write equation 2 again. 4x minus 2y plus 8 is equal to 0. I don't want this plus 8 sitting here, so I'm going to take away 8 from this side. So take away 8 from this side. So this becomes for x minus 2y is equal to negative 8. 0 take away 8 is negative 8. This is equation 2. Now to cancel, to can or to do elimination method, you have to decide to eliminate or cancel one of the variables. So the one of the variable that I want to cancel, I'm looking at y here. So this is negative y and this is positive y. So if I want to make this, sorry, this is negative y and this is negative 2y. If I can make this negative 2, sorry, positive 2y, I can cancel it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply both sides by, I want a plus 2y here. So I'm going to multiply by negative 2. So if you multiply this side by negative 2, it also multiply this side by negative 2. So the first equation now changes to, you have to expand negative 2 times 2y, 2, sorry, negative 2 times x is negative 2x. Negative 2 times negative y is plus 2y is equal to negative 4 times negative 2 is plus 8. And this, this is equation, again equation 1 in a different form. So this I'm going to stick in as it is. So this is 4x minus 2y is equal to uh, 4x minus 2y is equal to negative 8. Okay negative 8. Okay, so what will happen now? Okay, now I'm going to add these two equations. So if I add it, so this and this gets cancelled. So negative 2x plus 4x is 2x. So 2x is equal to 0. So x is equal to 0. Okay, that's interesting. So let's see. We'll have to check our answer. I am a bit uh, I've got a doubt I've done some mistake somewhere. Right, let's check. Okay, so x is 0. So let's write this equation again. x is equal to y minus 4. So I can stick in 0 in place of x. So 0 is equal to y minus 4. So now you use a simple logic. 
what take away 4 gives you 0. So, well, y has to be 4. y has to be 4. So, x is 0 and y is 4. So, let's check if x is 0. So, let's check. Mm, so, 4 minus 4 is 0. So, that's working there. 2 times, 4 times 0 is. So, let me check it here. So, what we are saying is 4 times x. So, 4 times 0 minus 2 times 4 plus 8 is equal to 0. Does it make sense? So, this is 0. So, 0 minus 8 plus 8 is equal to 0. Yeah, it does make sense. So, the equation is right. So, x is, so let me rewrite, x is 0 and y is equal to 4. Okay, so I want you to do this next question yourself using the same method or the method that you already know.